Hey, up here! Vilda, hey! Hey! Hey, Yoris! Vilda, hey, hey! Welcome to Lithuania! Hey, come on up! Where's the ladder? Uh, you can try the stairs. They're fairly popular. Where do I find those? Oh, yeah. Just call Flight 17. I'll let you in. Alrighty, thanks. Oh, you made it. How was your flight? Too frickin' long. I had like three transfers, so I feel like a sweaty, grumpy chicken. Hey, oh, I'm sure you must be exhausted. Later I'll get you a towel and prepare the bed. But first, uh, let me pour you a glass of wine. Which one do you prefer, mademoiselle? Vin Rouge or Vin Blanc? Red wine, please. Red it is. Um, so how have you been? I haven't seen you since, uh, the World Music Festival. Oh, you know life? Nothing really changes. <laughs> Don't underestimate life. It just moves when you're not looking. And you're still a romantic. Maybe. Just a little. So, uh, what do you do now? Started freelancing as a programmer. Oh, and how's self-employment for you? Oh, you know, I didn't expect I'd need to be an accountant, promoter, and saleswoman all at the same time. Huh. I hear ya. I prefer it as a hobby, though. Not sure if it's really a long-term career path for me. How about you? What have you been up to? Uh, you know, lecturing here and there. Still traveling a lot. Learning languages. Keep busy. So what brought you here? Right! Dude, you won't believe what happened today. What happened? Someone broke into my grandpa's house. Someone broke into his house? Is he okay? No, he's dead. Wait, what? No, I mean, he passed away before all this. I, I came here to sell his house. Dios mio, you really know how to deliver bad news. In the house, Grandpa left me a bunch of weird documents, but I've no idea what they mean. I think that's what the burglars were after. Huh. Well, let me take a look. Maybe I can help. Any idea what this is? It's written in Russian. Top secret, Project Kosche. Where did you find this? In a tree hollow in the garden. Grandpa hid it there. It's a letter from the KGB. The year is 1989, just before the collapse of the Soviet Union. Collapse of the Soviet Union? Yeah. Okay, so, around 1990, the communist government of the USSR was losing its influence. Many annex countries saw this as an opportunity to push for independence. That, in turn, led to a kind of waterfall effect, which eventually dissolved the USSR. Don't keep me waiting. What, what does the letter say? Uh, one moment. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Okay, it mentions here that your grandfather was somehow involved in a KGB project called Kosche. What do you mean, involved? Well, okay, it says here that Linus Kovas... Wait, Linus Kovas? Yeah. That's my dad's name. Oh. Continue, please. Right, okay. Uh, it, it says here, Linus Kovas must come to the KGB headquarters immediately for questioning regarding the crown of Vitotis. Are you saying my dad was interrogated by the KGB? I've no idea. Well, perhaps you could ask your father about it? Whoa, dude, I, I haven't seen him since I was little. I wouldn't even know where to find him. Um, would your mother know? She probably won't like it, but I might ask. She won't like you asking? She hates talking about Dad. However, perhaps she knows how to contact him. Hello? Hi, Mom. Won't bother you long, just wanted to ask a question. Okay. 
Do you know anything about Dad's involvement with the KGB? Oh, God, Milda. What? I knew you'd get involved. What are you talking about? What am I involved in? I know very well how this goes. It was the same with your father. Next time you call, you'll be blabbering about some non-existent treasures. Then you'll tell me you're investigating some pagan temples. Then that you're in trouble, and then... Oh. Then what? Milda, listen. Just leave things as they are and come back home. Mom, I, I just need to know what's happening. Can't you just listen to me? I just want what's best for you. Mom, why do you do this? Do what? Avoid answering questions. All right. If you so desire, go pursue your quest for truth without involving me in it. Is that clear? Why can't we just have a normal conversation? Oh. Oh, she always does that. There is a bottle of olive oil. Nearly empty, though. Just enough oil to cover all the pages. There. Now there's see-through. I added some oil to the papers. Now the message can be clearly seen. Hmm. What is it? crown with no king. There was only one king of Lithuania, and that was King Mindogus. Did he have a crown problem? No, but this poem sounds very much like the story about Vitotus the Great. What's so great about him? I mean, he's the most famous historical figure in Lithuania. A legendary leader, a politician, and schemer. One of the greatest warlords of the 15th century. He was supposed to become a king in 1430, but died before the crown could reach him. Okay, okay, I can see you're a fan of his. Ah, uh, kinda. Yeah. Is there anything else you found at your grandfather's place? This one was inside a wooden box hidden by Grandpa. Tak, bardzo interesująca. Huh? Ah, it's in Polish, but, um... The text is a bit archaic. Uh, from the style, I'd say it could be a few hundred years old. Uh, I'm not sure about some of the words. Uh, let me make a rough translation. Here, take a look at this. Maybe we can figure it out together. Once I feel confident with my choices, I should show it to yours. What do you think? This seems accurate. As the order instructed, the three keys to the crown are safely hidden thanks to the Grand Architect. The Great Fire provided him with the opportunity to choose different gods as demonstrated in this manuscript. Yeah, yeah, that, that sounds plausible. Any idea what it means? At first glance. Not really. Did your grandfather leave any other clues? That's all I've got from Grandpa's place. <laughs> That's quite a find. Assuming these texts are all real, 
all of them mention the crown. Uh-huh. Is it possible that your grandpa and dad were searching for the crown of Vitotus? Well, according to the letter, the KGB was after it too. Why was everyone after it? Your family had leads to the crown of Vitotus during the Soviet period. That in of itself would have been a dangerous knowledge. Why? Uh, it could have caused a cultural rebellion by giving the occupied nation a reminder of where they came from. I wouldn't have been surprised if, in the hands of the Soviet government, a discovery like that would have just disappeared. Yeah, I, I get it, but the Soviet Union dissolved anyway, so why not make the documents public after that? True. Might have been for fame, glory, and money then. Perhaps we should give these papers to the proper authorities. Uh, I prefer hanging on to these for a little while. Grandpa left them to me for a reason. And you, um, you mentioned... Mentioned what? Money? Well, yeah, it's an old valuable treasure linked to a legend of the past. Undoubtedly beneficial to the one who finds it. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What are you thinking? Have you heard anything about Project Kostche? I remember there was an old cartoon about a ruler called Kostche the Deathless. He hid his death in a needle in an egg or something and couldn't be killed without it. I should find my father. He must know more about this. Did your mother mention anything? Couldn't get much out of her, but she did blurt out something about investigating pagan temples. Besides this and Project Kostche, we don't really have much to go with. Then that's something I should keep an eye out for. I should find someone who could help me interpret some of these documents, especially the Polish translation. The keys mentioned there could lead me to the crown. Do you know any history buffs? Not really. What do you suggest we do? I don't know. Post in some history forum or something? I could do that. Uno momento. Uh, just let me get my phone. Uh... Okay, so... How should I phrase the post? Got an old text. Need a historian who could explain the context. Uh-huh... And done. We'll just have to wait for a reply now. Something else on your mind? That's all for now. Well, it's the middle of the night and it was an eventful day for you. How about we get a good night's sleep and continue tomorrow? You're right. Enough for the day. I can't wait to hug that sofa. Okay, uh, yeah, well, uh, right. <laughs> sofa, you can you can have the sofa. Sofa's yours tonight. Labanakt, Milda. Labanakt, yours.
it, stop. Buongiorno, Milda. Mornings. I hate mornings. You should probably get ready. An actual history professor replied to us. I set up a meeting with him at the library. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm up. I'm gonna go get myself a bagel. You, you want one? The ones with cheese or chicken or great. Mm -hmm. Chicken, cheese, they're really good. Yeah, give me the chicken one. Okie dokie. Well, come downstairs when you're ready. Uh huh. Look at all the research I've done. Yoris has a bedroom that's separate from his kitchen. Oh, I'm kind of jealous. I should probably get dressed first. Bagel. Thanks. That shop is run by the Lithuanian Jewish Community Center, so these bagels are legit. Noted. Ready to go meet the professor? Yeah, let's go. On the va! 